Hello and welcome to Every Dad DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we're going to be taking a look at my welder. Um, so I've got a, a very cheap welder. It's a Parkside welder um, from Lidl. Uh, so it's got a very bad duty cycle on it. You can only weld for a very short amount of time and then you have to let it cool down for a really long time. So what I'm hoping to do is add some fans and intake and an exhaust fan and get some a lot of air moving through it and hopefully cool that transformer down um, hopefully I can keep it cool and maybe double the welding time um, and then hopefully cool it down quicker as well so reduce the rest time yeah so that's what we're going to try to do so stick with me and let's get started Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on the welder before we get going. So it's a, a Parkside, it's a PESG 120A1, uh, it runs at 80 amps maximum uh, and it runs a 2.5mm rod at 80 amps um, and if you're using full 80 amps you get 64 seconds of uh, continuous welding, that's with the arc lit um, and then you get 1351 minutes for a rest or for it to cool down so that's one minute of welding and over 20 minutes of um, cool down time so the duty cycle is terrible on it but um, yeah that's what I'm hoping to improve with the fans so we'll see how we get on uh, so yeah it's it's just a big transformer inside that's all it is um, the transformer just decreases the voltage and increases the amperage so you can see it goes down to where is it at 40 amps it's 19.6 volts at 80 amps it's 21.2 volts so it drops the voltage right down and brings the amperage right up so it's that's all it is there's nothing to it it's got a dial on the front to wind it up and down and an off switch um, it's got standard ground clamps and electrode holder um, yeah there's nothing else to it so yeah let's just get into it okay so now that we have it open what you can see is this is the inverter here big lump of metal um, so there's wire here and here um, you can see our power is coming in on this wire um, there's one wire which comes back off of this switch and goes to this thing and then there's a wire that comes off this and goes to the other side of this inverter and then the other one so the other one goes into this orange light so we can assume then that that is going to be our thermometer um, or whatever it's called it's probably not a thermometer um, the wire goes back into it so this is what's sensing the, the heat. Okay, so KDS R302, 70 degrees, 400 volt, 32 amp. To me then, that would mean that once this hits 70 degrees, uh, stops the power. So I will put the fan on this side and I will draw air out through the back. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is plug it in and we'll work out which lead is positive and negative uh, then we'll hook it up to the fans make sure the fans are working um, and then we'll continue on then getting it ready and putting it into into the welder um, so what I could actually do is just have two plugs so I could leave this on the outside just run this wire to the inside onto the fans and that would work perfectly fine but then I would need two plugs all the time and it's just another wire to get knotted up in the welder. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this apart. Um, I'm going to find the connections for these and I'm gonna run that straight directly into the welder into its power supply. So we shouldn't need any extra plugs or anything like that. It should be inside and out of the way. Um, I think that's the best way of doing it and it just is less mess. So yeah, so I'm going to get going at that now, so that's what you'll see coming up next.
okay so I'm gonna try to explain this as simply as I possibly can so this is the main wire coming in uh, for the power for the welder comes up and goes into the back of this uh, switch so that's the main on off switch so what I've done is I've taken my neutral from the top and my uh, live from the bottom and brought them down into this power adapter and yeah so I've put the adapter back into its case just to keep it safe make sure it doesn't short out on anything and stuff like that so it's nice and safe there if um, cable tied it on it's not going anywhere uh, the power adapter then converts that down into 12 volts which comes out along this uh, line comes up to the back here where I've put another switch uh, this switch is for turning on and off the fans so you've um, your negatives go straight to your fans and then your positive is split on the switch and then it sends one positive out to this fan and one positive out to this fan um, yeah so once this switch is clicked they'll get power and they'll switch on and once the welder is turned off nothing will get power so uh, yeah it worked out really easily so you can see here I had to drill some holes um, the reason I put it so far forward instead of putting it here was because the transformer is right in the center and there's actually not enough space for the fan uh, beside it so it was either here or back here and if it was back here it would be right beside the exhaust fan so it'll be pointless so this way the air has to come in and then get sucked out through the back so hopefully it's going to be concentrated onto it um, and it should keep it cool hopefully so right now the welder's plugged in but it's off so I turn it on, so that's the welder on now so you can hear a buzzing, there's no fan at the moment, so there's a little switch at the back then, just here, click that, the fan start, so um, if I had, so you can see there, it's got quite a quite a good um, suction on um, that's going to be brilliant and you can see then on the exhaust side you know it's got a good exhaust so that should um, really improve the welding time of it okay so we're all finished there now the welder is uh, back together and working uh, the fans are actually putting out a lot more air than I thought they were going to so I have really high hopes for it uh, I think it's going to uh, work really well yeah so um, I'm going to get out over the next couple of days and do a bit of welding um, I have to weld outside because it's a timber shed full of sawdust so it wouldn't be a good idea um, yeah so I weld outside and it's uh, not great out there at the moment so I'll wait for a, a clear day and yeah so once i uh, do that i'll update you and let you know how it got on and if it survives and all that so yeah thanks for watching if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button see you in the next one